Raman spectroscopy is an important research area that can provide crucial chemical information of molecular composition and structure. In 1920s, Sir Raman has discovered that when light traverses through a material, some of the deflected light changes in wavelength. This phenomenon, now called Raman scattering, made him win a Nobel Prize for Physics in 1930. However, these classical Raman spectroscopy, relying on a lab-based light source, did not really proceed much for the next 50 years until 1970s. In 1970s, coherent and monochromatic light source, so-called laser, has been invented and surface-enhanced Raman scattering phenomena discovered. But despite of these landmark invention and discoveries, Raman spectroscopy has remained still a non-practical technique in real world. Because Raman spectroscopy still generated very weak signal out of sample and its signal reproducibility for quantification was poor when it was amplified by surface-enhanced Raman scattering. A group of Korean scientists suggested a new direction to solve this reproducibility issue of Raman signal toward application of quantifiable Raman technology by repeatedly detecting down to single molecule. A research team led by Dr. Yong Dok Sa in Korea Research Institute of Chemical Technology developed a new technique utilizing a rationally designed nanogap engineered Raman probes NERP, to drastically amplify the SERS signal up to 1 trillion times in reproducible manner. This team initially tied two gold nanoparticles with double-strand DNAs where a single Raman dye molecule is tagged at the center of the DNA and then coated the now-connected gold heterodimer nanodumbbell cores with silver shell to form a less than 1 nanometer nanogap to sandwich the single Raman dye molecule in between. This nanogap sandwiched Raman dye molecule generates drastically amplified SERS signal to show single molecule sensitivity. This drastic amplification is originated by surface plasma and gap plasma resonance between free electrons on these noble metals and excitation laser. This single molecule SERS technology controlled by DNA has drawn a much attention including Frost and Sullivan due to its innovative potential for multiplexing in vitro diagnosis and its publication at Nature Materials in 2010 is now cited more than 300 times. This research team further proceeded to develop another type of nanogap engineered Raman probe for other type of application. 저희가 2010년 어, 당시에 네이처 머치얼지의 논문을 어, 내면서 과연 분자 하나로부터도 어, 라만 신호를 얻어낼 수 있을 것이냐에 대한 기초적인 질문을 어, 답한 바가 있는데요. 이번 어, 네이처 나노테크놀로지 논문에 발표된 어, 연구를 통해서는 라만 신호의 어, 정량성 문제를 해결했다는 면에서 굉장히 의의가 크다고 할수 있겠습니다. 그렇게 되면 앞으로 어, 병원이나 제약회사 등에서 이 라만 신호를 활용한 어, 실질, 실질적인 그런 어, 실용화를 어, 앞당길 수 있는 그런 기틀을 마련했다고 할수 있겠습니다. 이때 이 라마 신호의 정량성을 확보해 준 어, 핵심 원리는 1나노미터밖에 안 되는 굉장히 어, 좁은 나노 간극을 활용한 라마 신호의 증폭이라고 할수 있겠는데요. 앞으로 이 나노 간극을 활용한 어, 다양한 종류의 라마 센서들이 어, 속속 어, 개발될 것으로 어, 예상을 하겠습니다. Newly developed nanogap engineered Raman probe looks like a gold sphere compared with the former one, a silver dumbbell. A gold nanoparticle with 20 nanometer diameter is decorated on its surface with Raman dye tagged DNAs, and then 10 nanometer thick gold shell is deposited in solution onto it. When this gold shell deposition is preceded, gold does not stick onto the outer surface of the DNA modified gold core due to the DNA's surface potential. So now forms a very thin nanogap surrounding all over the outer surface of the gold core about the size of one nanometer. 
This uniform spherical interior nano gap between gold core and gold shell throughout the outer surface of the gold core sphere provides uniform and well-defined nanogap multi-junctions for amplification of SCRS signal. 10 nanometer gold shell is still more than 50% transparent. A laser light transmitted through the gold shell excites the Raman signal of the Raman dye molecules implanted at this spherical nanogap, and the Raman signal is now amplified by gap plasmon formed by free electrons between the outer surface of gold core and the inner surface of the gold shell. This newly developed gold spherical NERP has a broad range of application. In one of the application, if NRPs with different Raman dyes are attached with different kinds of ligands, combined with bioactive agents and drug materials, and injected into a living cell, we can follow the moving trajectories of different NERPs and observe bioconjugation event in multiplexing manner. We can also attach antibody to the outer surface of this gold spherical NERP and then apply for multiplexing diagnosis and biochemical research. These gold sphere NERPs exhibit different Raman spectra according to the different Raman dyes implanted in them. Therefore, we can put in several Raman probe at the same time and then investigate them all together. This research team has now established more than five color multiplexing detection and imaging strategy. This research has been published in Nature Nanotechnology and cited more than 150 times now. A patent related to this research has received the Tech Connect World Innovation Award at the Tech Connect World Summit and Innovation Showcase held in Washington, D.C. in May 2013. In vitro diagnosis for pandemic disease including H1N1 virus, multiplex screening for drug candidate molecule, medical and R&D instrumentation. We believe this research has a great academic and economic potential and might open an avenue of new Raman-based technologies in the near future.